Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my November favorites. So I know I said that Friday would be like fitness Fridays and stuff, but I've kind of started thinking um, of doing them the last Friday of every month. Um, because I have a lot of makeup videos that I want to do. I have a lot of ideas that I want to do for like tutorials and just different videos and I feel like I'm kind of like cut for time. I don't want to commit more than three videos a week because I do have a fairly busy schedule but I do want to do more makeup stuff and more makeup tutorials. I really enjoy uh, filming those. I was just thinking of doing the last Friday of every month and kind of just catching you guys up with how my fitness has been. Um, you know kind of showing a, a collection of workout days or workouts and just my favorite meals and kind of showing you guys certain recipes and things that I really enjoyed and making it like a nice length, not super lengthy, but a long enough video. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, but yeah, besides that, let's just get into the favorites. The first thing is not beauty related at all, but it's just, I love this thing so much. And it's just a Starbucks cup that I purchased at Starbucks. <laughs> And these things are just like a dollar. I think they have some holiday cups now, which are two dollars. And they're just reusable, they're recyclable, like they're hard. I use this so much. I don't necessarily, I haven't taken it back to Starbucks to use it there, but I just use it every single morning. I love that it's hard. Whatever I want to drink in the morning, I take it in here. I love this little guy so much. I love that it seals. Um, it's just perfect for travel. It's perfect for on the go. And I like to have my cup to go like this, you know, be sippy as I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so, so much. My next favorite is actually something that I didn't think I was going to love as much as I do. <laughs> and it's actually this Bath and Body Works candle, the three wick candles. I posted a picture on Instagram of this burning and how much I was obsessed with it. And I had like just bought it. And yeah, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should totally do it. This candle, I bought three, and this is the only one I've burned so far. Well, I have some other ones that I burned, but this is the one that I chose to burn first because I just like the smell. And this is in Ski Lodge, and it smells just like that. It smells like a Ski Lodge. It smells like, like wood and like a fireplace and like nature, but like, like, I don't know how to explain it, like burning wood, but you can still smell like a little hint of like pine, I want to say. It makes me feel like I'm where there's snow. And I just love it. It smells like winter. It's beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, so my next four products are skincare and hair care, and I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with hair care. And this little baby that I want to show you guys is from Biolage, and it is a aqua immersion cream mask with deep moisture for very for dry hair or very dry hair this mask i love it so much it smells divine anything anything that's from biolage smells so so amazing and i don't know if you guys can tell but this baby is pretty empty can you guys see how much i've used up it's like up to here so yeah, so it's pretty empty. I love it very, very much. I got mine at Ulta, and I think I got, I think I paid like $25 for it, but I really love how soft and moisturizing it makes my hair feel. It just leaves your hair feeling so smooth and so hydrated. It is really, really awesome. And yeah, it's paraben-free, silicone-free, and if you're looking for a hair mask that you've never tried, definitely give this a try if you have very, very dry hair, as I do. The next product is from Lush and it's actually two of them it's my ocean salt exfoliator and my mask of magnum minty mask my mask of magnum minty <laughs> these i love these separate they are amazing but together they work wonders on my skin of course i start off with my ocean salt and this is just a face and body scrub it's supposed to remove dead skin, leave your skin feeling soft, and it's supposed to be really invigorating, and it does. It like You can really see it remove that nasty layer of dead skin, and it really leaves your, fi your, fi it really leaves your face feeling like all like tingly and clean and awaken and refreshed, and it, does, it looks more vibrant. It definitely looks more vibrant. And I have the big one because I go through this one 
pretty quickly and that's what it looks like it's just beautiful and it smells like the ocean which is my favorite place in the world along with Disney World well, I've, what I've been doing is I've been using this um, I'm using my like at night I'll use my purity face wash and I'll use this because it really 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 deeply exfoliates and it's not too much and then I use it in conjunction with my mask of Magnum Minty this is just an amazing mask it just reminds me of I don't know to me it smells like chocolate chip is that weird like mint chocolate chip and I don't really like that but <sighs> I love it in this and this is just what it looks like it's just this green little mask and it's a face and body mask this just deeply it deeply gets into your pores like when you first put it on you feel it all minty and like refreshing and oh, it feels so awesome and then it will really like deeply go into your pores and cleanse out what you have but my favorite part is, is when I use this mask and I'm breaking out I will see the next day that all my blemishes all the redness and whatever's kind of like poking out of your skin will be extremely reduced like you're really gonna see it you're really gonna see how this mask worked on you the night before and what I like about this as well is that you can use it as a spot treatment so if you have this one little monstrosity on your face you can just dab a little bit of this on it and leave it overnight it will really really dry out that blemish for you and the last like skincare I guess you could say is my elf lip exfoliator I love this thing so much I've had it for a while but I tend to forget to exfoliate my lips a lot um, but with the weather getting a little bit cooler and a little bit drier I have felt my lips get a little bit more chapped but what I love about this I feel like it's so genius because it comes in a lipstick form I don't know if you guys can see but the exfoliator is a lipstick so when I'm done with my face and everything I just grab this and I scrub my lips with it and it's just so easy because you don't have to I don't know I just feel like it's super convenient and it smells like like honey and brown sugar it just smells so good and it tastes really good and it leaves your lips feeling really moisturized after you use it so not only is it exfoliating but it also leaves your lips feeling very very moisturized I think this is like three dollars and it is such an amazing lip exfoliator and it lasts a very very long time um, I just love this I love this little guy so much I got mine online but I've seen them at Target if you guys are interested in purchasing it now on to my favorite makeup items of the month I'm gonna start with my vice 3 palette I didn't think that I was going to love this as much as I do I really have been enjoying this palette and these shades and I have a look on my channel that I posted I think last week um, using this palette and I will link it down below so you guys can see um, but oh my gosh you guys I just the pigmentation is amazing the colors blend really well they layer really well the only con that I have with this product is that there's a lot of fallout so definitely 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 if you are going to use this do your eye makeup first wipe away all the fallout and then put on your foundation because if not you're going to have eyeshadows all over your foundation like it's not cute but besides that this palette is so amazing now I'm gonna show you guys a more affordable palette the Vice palette is $60 but this next palette that I'm gonna show you guys is $20 this is the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral palette and these are all mattes I've had this for maybe maybe a year now I go through phases where I get really obsessed with it and then I forget about it and then I get it again and this month I've been playing it with it so so much and it is just it's very difficult to find good mattes in my opinion in the drugstore so when I saw this palette I had to pick it up to me $20 for a drugstore product is pretty expensive but I guess Sonia Kashuk is like the high end of drugstore products it's a very good palette to have if you're really into matte shadows and they are pretty good quality I don't experience like a lot of fallout with these I feel like they're pretty pigmented so yeah I've really been enjoying this little bad boy right here now I'm gonna talk to you guys about my NYX eyeshadow base I have been using this a lot in my tutorials and this is what this little baby looks like and it is just a eyeshadow base obviously 
but this is in the shade skin tone this is more yellow base it's more yellow tone i really really do love this and i love this particularly for like warmer looks it's just a really nice eyeshadow base to start off with and it's super creamy i'm gonna show you guys it's really nice and creamy and it's more yellow based and it conceals and blends really really well i'm not sure how much i paid for this i don't think that i paid a lot um, I don't think it was more than four or five dollars. If you don't have the money for Max Paint Pots, I would definitely try this one out. One of my biggest problems with mascaras on my lower lashes is that my lower lashes always tend to like smudge it. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm very oily there, but my my bottom mascara would always smudge and it was just super annoying. And this just doesn't budge. Like it just doesn't. It's just so 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 amazing. And then for my top lashes. It just, it doesn't really do anything to make, like if you love volumizing mascaras, this isn't for you. Um, because this is just going to allow you to get really, really in there and elongate the lashes. If you want to get more volume, then definitely um, use it in conjunction with another mascara. I like to use this one with my Too Faced Better Than Sex, with my Jordana Best Lash Extreme, because those are more volumizing mascaras. But for natural day looks and for specific looks, this is perfect. I've literally used this mascara every single day since I first opened it. Every single day. Whether it's for my top, whether it's whether it's for my top and bottom, whether it's just for my bottom, whether it's for my top mixed with another mascara. I have used this mascara every single day. I love it so much. So if you can get it. Go get it. Two more things and I'm almost done. I promise. I promise. This um, this is also from e.l.f. And this is their moisturizing lipstick. I hadn't tried any of these. This is in the shade Ravishing Rose. Um, I forgot what video I was wearing it in. But I... These are super pigmented, you guys. And... They're so moisturizing. I honestly didn't think I was going to love this as much as I do. Um, and I was very surprised by the pigmentation. And it's only $3. Like, that's freaking insane. So, this is in Ravishing Rose. They smell so good. I don't feel like it has that much of a lasting power on your lips. You will have to reapply this. But this one, I feel like, leaves like a nice little hint of color once it does fade away so it's not so bad I have another one that's red and that one you have to wear a lip liner with because of that it will smear and you have to reapply that one a lot throughout the day but this one is just so beautiful it's such a beautiful everyday color it's such a pretty like deeper rose color these are literally I love these colors so much I've been so in love with them I'm gonna show you guys how pigmented these lipsticks are and that's like that's just one swipe of color and it's just such a beautiful 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 color they're so moisturizing they're so lightweight on the lips I would definitely give these a shot if you love very creamy lipsticks and if you're just looking for a nice everyday color I got mine at Target and I think they have a few more shades but this one was definitely the one that stuck out to me the most the last product that I have to share with you guys is a nail polish. And I was actually wearing this nail polish in my last Friday fitness video and in my Vice 3 tutorial. If you guys don't know, I'm obsessed with The Little Mermaid. Like, disturbingly obsessed. <laughs> and when I saw this shade, this is, from, this is from Nicole by OPI. I was walking around Target. And I was just kind of like browsing the makeup section. And I saw this shade just beautifully sitting there looking at me, calling my name, asking me to buy it. And when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, this looks like a mermaid tail. This is like, I don't even want to say it's a dual chrome. I feel like it's a triple chrome. <laughs> it has like, it's green, but then in certain lighting you can see like a gold undertone to it like if it's gold peeking out and then in another lighting you can see it more teal yeah. once I saw that it looked like a mermaid tail and I saw how beautiful it was and I realized I have to have this and I picked it up Ugh. the name 
is mermaid for each other. It was meant for me. They created this nail polish for me. For me. Because they knew that I needed it. And they knew that I love mermaids, so they had to make it. It's just, it's perfect. It's like a little mermaid. Like her tail. So I thought about it. I thought about her tail. Oh, I love it so much. So that does it for my monthly favorites. It has been a very good month full of amazing shopping spree. And I hope that you guys had an awesome, 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 awesome Thanksgiving. Um, I want to know. I want to know what your favorite part of Thanksgiving was. And please put it in the comments down below. So I would love to know what made you thankful this year. I would love it if you guys subscribed and share this video with your people. And let your people show their people. And just, you know, show them some love. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys really soon. Bye.